When the president flew to TF Green for his trip to Somerset, four members of the Massachusetts congressional delegation flew with him. One of them, Congressman Jake Auchincloss, who tweeted pictures of himself with the president yesterday. WBZ's Brandon Truitt joins us live in studio now. And Brandon, all those people would be considered close contacts of the president. They're certainly not alone. Well, Paula, you have to think dozens of people meet the president on any given day. And according to the White House travel logs, the president was in southern New England for just about three hours yesterday, and most of that time was in transit. Here's a look at President Biden getting off Air Force One at TF Green Airport. He met Rhode Island's governor and Warwick's mayor at the foot of the plane. Then his motorcade was off to Somerset. The event at Brayton Point was brief and outdoors. The president had very few interactions with people that were not lawmakers. Congressman Jake Auchincloss flew up with the president yesterday and spoke to me about that flight and the precautions that the White House takes to try to keep the president safe. We had a dynamic 30 minute conversation uh, where we covered a range of topics and uh, it, was, it was substantive and lively. You gotta demonstrate that you've got a negative COVID test within I believe 24 hours of being with the president and it can't be self-administered, it has to be done uh, by a third party. He then transmits the results to the White House directly. So they, they, take, they take rigorous precautions. So as of this hour, no one around the president yesterday says that they have tested positive. Many of these lawmakers already test daily. And yesterday's event in Somerset was not open to the public. The White House, though, says they are getting in touch with people who meet that criteria for a close contact.